Okay, this one is a very close up. Uh, hoping maybe you'll be able to see it uh, accumulate in the mold a little better and how it's poured. This one I'll be pouring a bit thicker because I want to be able to uh, carve the piece when I'm done. You can tell by the way the reflection changes on that uh, surface how fast this is sucking into this mold. The, this mold, the cavity is much larger than the uh, pore hole and spare. As you can see, this is taken in real time, so you can see that it's not taking very long for this to happen. Um, on the other, a lot of people suggest timing a mold when you pour it, but uh, I don't find this to be a very good way to do things because depending upon the humidity or how often you've poured the mold, um, this can take drastically di different lengths of time to get the same result. You're much better off if you watch the mold, pay attention to it, and get a feel for your molds. Also, different molds uh, poured at different times, so the plaster may absorb more or less. And as a mold is used, it will go through stages from absorbing less quickly to more quickly, back to less quickly again as it gets much older. So observing the, the thickness of the actual casting is uh, the best way to determine how thick it's going to be. The same goes for letting them sit after they're poured. Uh, timing it is, again, not a very accurate way to know when it'll be ready to come out. Again, the uh, temperature, the humidity, how often the mold's been poured in recent history uh, all make a big difference on how quickly you'll be able to remove the item from the mold. Because the mold is absorbing water from the slip to create the casting, if you pour a mold several times uh, in short succession, each time will take longer to absorb the clay, and each time it will take longer for it to release the casting from the mold uh, after you've poured it. Also, as a mold gets wetter from frequent pourings, uh, you will tend to erode detail from the mold by pouring it more frequently. This will cause the uh, cavity of the mold to enlarge and all the detail, if you have carved detail on the inside of your mold, it will cause it to soften and eventually erode away. You should be able to see how this one is uh, collecting around the edge now. You see an area here. You can see how thick that's getting. I'm going to let that suck in just a little bit farther so you can really see the edge around it and see how thick it is. Right here you can see that. Over here you can see it. That is the thickness of your casting. Okay.